Many communities are hard at work trying to figure out what to do about the heroin problem. One community is doing something about it and having amazing success. A few weeks ago, Coleraine Township started using what they call a quick response team to not only respond to overdoses, but then to follow up and get help for both the addicts and their families. Local 12's Rich Jaffe spent the morning with three members of this life-saving team. He joins us now live from Coleraine Township. Hi, Rich. Hi, Cammie. Just a few hours ago, I was sitting in the living room of a Coleraine Township house, and I was talking with a young man who, one month ago, for all intents and purposes, was dead. He and his family are survivors thanks to the quick response team. His mother sat there with tears running down her face telling me about the difference that this team is making in people's lives. In an effort not to make their lives any tougher, we agreed not to identify the family. But this mother's message is clear. They gave me my boy back. They gave me my baby back. A month ago, her 23-year-old son was found lying on the basement floor with a heroin overdose. Emergency crews from the Coloring Township Quick Response Team brought him back with Narcan. The first thing he saw was a medic and his father. I felt dead. I knew I, when, I came, when I came back, I, I could tell, you know, this is it. I can't. I couldn't. And like I said, I seen a man that shows no emotion. I seen him in the back of the room just bawling. That, that, that was enough for me. Just before his overdose, Coleraine began running their quick response team. We hear the problem as being, what is going on? Why is the heroin an issue? Why is the opiate? Why? Well, got to do something. You know what? We got good people together, and we said, we want to do something too. So we got police officers, firefighters, medics, and addictive services council, and everybody else, and we just started. A police officer and firefighter medic ride side by side, able to respond immediately to overdose calls. After the initial call, the team follows up. They went out of their way. They called people that the next day. The next day they were here. They did everything for us. They got, helped us get him into programs. They gave us emergency numbers, important people to talk to. Nan Franks of the Addictive Services Council helps guide the families. Almost overwhelmed by the the response of the families and the response of the people, you know, kind of believe it theoretically, but it's pretty wonderful, actually. I feel like there's nothing in the world that I could ever do for them that could give them back what they gave me back. Now, just about a month ago when we did the first story about the rollout of this program, we showed you the, uh, the team and firefighters and cops from Coleraine Township going door to door in a couple of neighborhoods here. They were distributing flyers about this program. Out of just that door to door effort, they had five families come forward and say, can you help us? We've got addiction problems in this house. Since that program rolled out, they've got roughly 50% of the people that they are making contact with, the overdose people, going into treatment programs. And now get this, just a few minutes ago, this crew came back in. They had three follow-up visits today with people. And in addition to that, they had four brand new people come forward and say, we have addiction problems, can you help us? Clearly, these guys have their pulse and their fingers on something that is really, really working here in Coleraine Township. In Coleraine Township, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Cammie? They sure do. So promising. Rich, thank you. And at this point, Coleraine Township is still working on cost numbers for the program, but they tell us that it's really not very expensive. Officials in Hamilton County and other communities, as you might imagine, are watching this program very closely and may even end up adopting it and perhaps expanding it.